Hello and welcome to the Q&A sessions brought to you by Okta FX, the best forex trading broker, Asia 2021, with over 10 years experience. My name is Nicolette Mashile, I'm also known as the Financial Bunny, and I have the absolute pleasure of sitting down with Sandila Mathangu, who is a celebrated thespian actor businessman within the entertainment industry. Now, one of my favorite roles was of him playing Sbu on How to Ruin Christmas. You remember that one? Yeah, definitely I remember it too. Now, the beautiful thing about Sandile is that he's actually from Middleburg, which is my home province. So, shout out to Mpumalanga. And he is, of course, a graduate within the electrical engineering space. One of the coolest things that we're going to be also doing is we're going to play a little game. We're going to test his finance terminology. So, look forward to that. But, of course, we're going to start off our conversation getting into the well-being and personal finance management of entertainment industry. So Sandile, I think what I want to get into in today's conversation is really how does one neatly package financial well-being and personal finance management for the entertainment industry? I mean, look, we'll start with, with just the broad side of things. Mm. I, I don't think it's just only the entertainment industry. Mm. I mean, mm. like, the cost of living is high. Inflation is rising. Mm. Uh, salaries are going down. We actually do need to have other income streams. Mm. And the entertainment industry is easy to say that because you have more time in your hands. Mm and you're expected to live a specific way, mm. and that's just the general public. They expect mm. you to live a specific way, mm. not understanding how much you actually really earn. Mm. We have issues where if you're, 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 you're in a taxi, they, they say, ha, huh, I watch <laughs> how you. How are you on TV in a taxi? That's what they want to know. <laughs> so we're sort of forced to, to, to generate more income in different places. Yeah. I learned something that if you want to make more money, uh -huh. you have to increase your value. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, yeah, have like a... A sellable thing yes. like you have to be sellable yes. and you have to increase the amount of money that you sell yourself for uh -huh. and how do you do that bettering yourself I will use myself then in other places like presenting yes. I'm not just an actor anymore yes. you're presenting uh -huh. businesses uh -huh. I do marketing I yeah. do all these different things so that I can be able to cover my lifestyle but here's the thing and people talk about it all the time they say I don't have enough hours in a day yeah. to be able to increase my income streams mm. so for you how are you balancing that out and how, how are you making sure that even the way you are actually yeah. getting income is diversified. There are more ways now than there were in like the past five years to, to make more money, you know, like investing. True. There's, there's cryptocurrency, there's foreign exchange. You know? So what you do is that you learn about them on your free time. And people do have free time. They just don't have time management. So they don't know that they have free time. That's what I think. That's well, true. You know? yeah. Schooling. You know? yes. I think education is just bigger than that, yes. than just going to school. I want to talk about something. I mean, you do a lot of work. I've seen you do influencer work. I've seen you, as you said, you are doing uh, presenting work. MC work. How, MC work. How do you then do your pricing so i think it's about how how many people notice you in the room you know what i mean yes. like audience wise yes. especially for the entertainment industry how many yes. people will be like okay yes i understand that's sandy yes. and that's where you can put the prices yes. you know? it's different to social media when you're doing marketing for other brands on social media mm. then you charge based on your engagement but actually that's i can still call that a synonym of how many people see you you know yes. what i mean yes. engagement uh, the engagement rates on your on your social media says I know this person and yeah. I want to con conversate with this person so I'll understand what they say. So it's I'm almost interested. like having like a, a, a pricing metric and a metric of on sense. engagement exactly. and value. And value, exactly. So, for instance, a person could have two, three million followers, but yeah. the engagement rate is only 5,000 people. Uh -huh. You see, that's the value there. Uh -huh. And that's what most brands look at, I yeah. hope. But yeah, that's what most brands look <laughs> I at. I like that, I hope. I hope, you know. I'm telling you, let me tell you what my pricing is. <laughs> what is your I pricing? don't know if there is like uh, uh, some sort of method to this madness, right? Okay. So I take, like for instance, on social media, I'll take 10%, 10 cents per follower. Yeah. yeah. So if I have like 5,000 followers, it's yeah. 10 cents multiplied by 5,000. You know, that's 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 how it began, I think. That's how it began. Yeah, yeah I that, that, that it from somewhere. No, that's how it began. But it like, like where did I get this But then from? people started buying followers. Now it became an, an interesting conversation. I you know? see. Mm, now I it's see. like, okay, I can buy a million followers and yeah. charge the brands 10%. And then they don't see their return on investment. Yeah. They're like, wait, look, you have three million. Yeah. I expected the, the, yeah. the ROI to be the specific thing. It's really about who is engaging because that's the truth. That's what I always say, you know, there's a difference between an influencer and an influential person. Uh -huh. And I think that's where people don't understand, especially people who are influencing because they realize that, okay, I have a specific amount of following and yeah. they don't understand their own audience. Yes. So you need yes. to do that. You need to be an influential person who yes. influences people instead of being an influencer by title, you know. And so, How do you get clients to pay your invoices? 
It's a youth agency, look, right? Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, this is an interesting one. Too. Yeah. So uh, it's always it's always nice to have a middleman. Uh, the middleman would be the one who's going to be the cutthroat one, who's going to be doing that. So yeah. they don't say Sandili Matlangu is saying this and that and that. But while I was working with, with my manager, Leon Hasbrook at Hago. Oh, Kansas, is that a plug? It's a plug, it has to be. <laughs> okay. So as I was working with him, I realized his methods and I was like, this is actually a smart method of working, you know? Okay. Like uh, for people who don't have people, middlemen and stuff like that, 50% yeah. upfront is always a great way, like you know? That. It's always like a great that. way just to say, okay, for me to come to set, and 50% is always the, the easiest way. So then after the, the work, you're like, okay, great. We've done the work now. Then we can cover the, 50, the, the remaining 50%. Yeah. I think that's the easiest way that people can do it. I think we just need to be more financial savvy. Yeah. Uh, having, having an emergency fund is the best thing that a person in the inter entertainment industry can do for themselves. Yeah. You know, you never know when you're not getting any work. Yes. There was a time when I was doing commercials and I was getting paid every three months. Yes. You do a commercial today, um, only in three months' time am I getting the money. Each time you say, okay, budget, budget, budget this amount of money is going to the emergency fund yes. for when I do not get a job so that I can be able to follow through with my commitments. Yeah. I think that's one of the most important ones to do. It, it goes back to education. Yeah. I learned via experience. Mm. I learned on the ropes. Mm. I was told that I owe SARS money and I was like, why do I owe SARS money? And they're like, you've never submitted an RP5. Mm. Where's your payee? Mm. I'm like, what? Wait, who? Where? Okay, I need to go there and find out. Yeah. And I took the time to go, to read, literally go there and find out. They're like, you haven't submitted an IRP five until from what day to what date? And I was like, ah, so am I being what? What? They're like, you're being audited. I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> now I'm stressing. So the day you're getting audited. Yeah. What's going through your mind? I was terrified. I was because I've heard. Yeah. You know, I've heard them coming for people in the entertainment industry, and usually when they come, they come. You know, and the re the only reason why they were auditing me is because. The money that, that, that I was getting paid then was a little bit, was quite a bit more than what I had in IRP5 been or submitted my returns back then in yes. the past. So there was like, so there was like what's a big happening? Discrepancy. Yeah, they're like, whoa, let's, let's pause. You know, Sandile, it's quite unfortunate mm. that a lot of freelancers, actors, independent contractors don't know that they have to pay pay ye yeah, first yeah. And, and then that they have to pay actually 25%. Mm. And obviously when you get to the end and you're submitting your returns, SARS will then do a calculation to say you've overpaid or you've yeah. underpaid. So here's yeah. the question that I have for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Deductions. I have never, I have never claimed deductions. Why not? Because like, where do I even begin? Can deduct your travel. Yeah. Um, of course, depending on the arrangement that you've got with the employer, mm. you can get deductions for interest. As I said, if you've got a loan, for instance, you've got a rental apartment, yeah. you pay over the, well, they pay you the rent. If you have a loan, the interest portion that the bank charges you, you can get it as a deduction I from see. the bank. If it, now with COVID, yeah. oh, well, we are post COVID now, yeah. but for people who worked at home, if you turn your home into a, a home office, yeah. there are certain deductions that you can also ah, get. So, so there's quite a number of deductions. You see you can the education get. that is needed out there. That's great. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> it is an absolute pleasure. We're going to take a quick break. When yeah. we come back, Sandile, we're going to play a game. Are you ready for our game? I don't know. I don't think, I, I don't think I'm ready for that uh, game. I'm that game, I, I, just, I, got, I got a little glimpse of it out there and I was yeah. like, hey, hey, hey. I promise you, you're going to be absolutely excellent. So I let's take you. a quick ad break. The OctaFX trading app is a smart trading service combining everything a trader needs in an easy to use app. First, download the OctaFX trading app, then register and log in. Check your email inbox, then click to confirm. Now after you've filled in your details, choose the platform, the type of account and the leverage that you would like to trade. Then start your real account by making a deposit using any of the payment system OctaFX has to offer. Then start trading and enjoy. By the way, use my promo code Nicolette and double your deposit for more profitable trading. Welcome back, everybody. I'm still sitting with Sandile Mashangu Thespian, and of course, he is a businessman within the entertainment industry. As mentioned, we're going to be playing a game. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Are you ready? Uh, All right, so the game is very be. easy. If you've played 30 seconds before, yeah. then this is kind of a version of a financial 30 seconds. Mm. So, of course, we've got our timer, 30 seconds, mm. and we have our playing cards. And Great. today, we're going to play general topics and savings and investments. Are you ready? Let's go, please, please. Let's do um, it. Okay, you want to start? Please. Okay, let's go. Go. Silver and number one is 
Silver and number one is? Yes, if you're standing on the podium, silver and? Gold. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what do you get when you, you um, parent passes away? You get what? That lump sum of money is called what? Uh, pension. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, say that again. In, 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 in the your black inheritance. community, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, your business yes. at its initial phases is called a what? A startup. Yes. Okay, this one's going to be very difficult for you. Uh -huh. it, is a, it was when two of the financial institutions were brought together. The one with the fire and the other one is the blue bank. The one with the fire and the blue bank. When you put them together, they create an insurance company. What's it called? Fire blue bank. <laughs> <laughs> Like what is it called? No, let, no, let me look. Stanley. Okay, it's called <laughs> Stanley. So it's Stanley Bank and Liberty. Yeah, yeah. Liberty. Oh, okay. Yes, oh, yes, all right. Yes, it's cool. Yes, got yes, you, got you. Is it, is it my turn? Well, is it my well. turn? Thank you so much. I did how much? Yes, I got like four, right? You did, you got I got three. I got four. Three. I got four. Okay. Take, take. We'll do general. Yeah, this is your time. I want to do all general. All right, cool. My turn mm -hmm. to do these cards. Should I take the top one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And he made three. Okay. Oh, okay. He he speaks. Um, he's a he's a motivational speaker. Quite much. South African. Yes, South African. Is Yes. Shot. Um, I might be making this easy for you. I don't know. There's it's a show. It's a sh it used to be a show on 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 V Entertainment with these children who are showing rich us. kids. Yes. Uh, twenty five percent that you have to pay as an entertainer. Tax. Yes. But, we just spoke about but, it. Yeah. Which one? Pay. Yes. How? What um, do you do, baby? I don't want to give you the word, but it is a a a a, a facility that you can. Access your money in. You can access a bank it. account. Yes, but tit for tat. Transactional account. Yes. Ah. Okay, but did you hear the way that I just did it for you? Oh, oh it was amazing. You, you are the oh, magic here, not it, me. Oh, it was amazing. Dude. Really? Uh, the people will know. A Don't business know. Account, will be... an account. Yeah, because I don't want to say account. Okay, so, so you want to go? Let's go. Put it at the bottom. Okay, shall we? Okay, you want to go general? I don't want to do that. Save it for business. Yeah. Okay, here you go. All right. So when we talk about a the fifth bank that came into a new bank. Fifth one? The fifth the one of fifth the top five. One the one the with Stellenbosch, down there in Stellenbosch. It had glitches just the other day. Capitec. Yes. Okay. So it is the other word for Ponzi. Ponzi. Yes. The other word for that Ponzi. That scam Ponzi. What's the other one? Where you build up. Pyramid. Now say the whole thing. Pyramid scheme. Yes. Okay. Dang when we yeah. measure how South Africa is doing in the economy, uh -huh. right? Or any economy. Yes. Right? Not South Africa, any other economy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We measure what? It's three letters. So we talk about we're the measuring. GDP. Yes. <laughs> Look at how shocked she is. Don't you be this shocked. <laughs> <I'm so sorry. laughs> You're horrible. You're horrible. Okay, go, 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 okay, go, go. It's your turn. Okay. All right, sweet. Let's go. All right. So it's a, it's Totital for the ten rand. Tiger. Ten rand. I don't know. Totital. Which is uh, Tiger. No, 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 not, not Tiger. Actually, four. Sleeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now say. Also, oh, it's actually not for the ten rand. We have time, a timer. Ma, ma, Focus. Ma, <laughs> where do you draw your money? Bank. No, no, ATM. No. Yes. Mm, it's, a, it's, a, it's a saying. It's a, it's a saying. Like if, you know, it regards. Stabaram No, not really. It's a, it's regarding troubles. <laughs> time. It's regarding troubles. More, more money, more problems. Oh. I was say that without. So we got two uh, under thirty seconds. Yeah, we did. Okay, we're gonna need to get three now. Okay, cool. Are you ready? <clears throat> ding, ding, ding. Go. Okay. It is, what do you get that shows you your transactions? The document shows you your transactions. Statement. Great. Mm. What do we call somebody who wants money from a man? Those ladies, a we call them. Digger. Yes. OK. okay. It, 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 it's the place where term. we send letters, but they turned it into a financial institution. So take the place where we send letters and put them together with the financial institution. So it's standard what? It's what? What do you mean standard what? Standard bank? Yeah. And then this place where we send our letters. Postbank. Yes. Okay. okay, the last one. When you are in this ah, time. It's time. All right. Okay, so your go. turn. Ready. Let's go. Go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the female always asks for this from the man. Oh, girlfriend allowed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, it's 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 where you submit your IRP fives. Subs. Yes. Uh, in 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 Zotital, the term for money. Nyuko. Yeah, close, close. Go, go, go. Mula. The green thing that you use. Zambak. Yeah. <laughs> Zambak what? <laughs> Zaga. 
Zambak Zaga. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like a term that you use for money. Zambak. No, I said Zambak, so oh, you can get Zambak to Zaga. Zambak Zaga. Because you're like Nyoko, so I'm like Zambaga, oh. Zambaka. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Zaga. Sandile, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me. It was absolutely <laughs> fantastic having you. you here. Thank you so much. And, and I've learned so much. Yeah. And you were a great sport. Thank you. I try, I try. You know, sometimes you got to just be honest and be vulnerable and accept mm. that you can't, you don't know things. Mm. And then you learn things if you accept that you don't know things. Okay. And that's my whole thing. Sandile, we'll see you on the next one. I don't like her face when she does that, this one. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching the Q&A sessions with Okta FX and we're hoping that you have learned something new today. Now, if you are a beginner and you have an interest in going into Forex trading, Okta FX offers a free Forex trading basics video course on their website. And there you will learn all about the Forex market. You will also learn how to actually profit from it. And as you saw with Sandila earlier on, we did some of those finance terms on this course. You will also learn the Forex terminology. Now, if you are somebody that's looking for more information or you want to actually sign up, go to www.octafx.com. I am Nicolette Mashile. Thank you very much once again, and I'll see you guys on the next one. For a 100% bonus that doubles your deposit for more profitable trade, use promo code Nicolette.